How's it going? Hey there. Yes. Hi. How are you today? Hello? Change your mind yet? You willing to help us deal with the ant agonizer and mechanist? Great! I'm relieved to know the situation will be quickly resolved. Let me know if I can be of assistance to you. Oh, and please, do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in the streets. We don't need another. If it'll help, I'm glad to. Now, one day there was a crazy woman leading a bunch of ants into town. She said humanity was dead and the ants would inherit the earth, stuff like that. Well, that gave Dom plenty of time to line up a shot or two on the ants. She ran away, but every once in a while she'd stage an attack again. She wasn't much of a threat then. In fact, she was sort of entertaining at first. Gave everyone in town something to talk about. But when the mechanists started fighting her, things got bad. Ants are easy to shoot, but add robots with lasers, and it got real nasty. The mechanist used to be our town mechanic, Scott Walensky. Quiet guy, but plenty fierce with a wrench and some solder. Guy used to take care of a robot that protected the town until it got torn up in one of the ant agonizer's lame little attacks. I guess he took it personal because he made a mechanical suit and called himself the mechanist, said he would lead a robot army to fight her. Now he doesn't even respond to his name, and his robot army is more dangerous to the town than the ants ever were. My nephew Derek might know more about them. I swear it's all I can do to keep him from running into the fight whenever they come out. He might know more about where you can find them, but don't encourage the poor boy. He's had enough close calls. I most heartily agree. Glad to help, glad to help. You'll want to talk with Joe Porter over in Dot's Diner. I don't know who Dot was, but I'm sure Porter's food does her memory proud. When they're in town, you can find the caravan trader out front of the town. They say it's a good way to catch a visitor's eye. Enjoy! Ha! Damn near everything I suspect. I found it the place myself, and I'm the reason this place stays fat and happy. Because I asked them to, I suspect. I grew up in these trade caravans, known most of them my whole life. I founded this place with my sister Daisy back in the day. Perfect stop along the caravan circuit. They're just small caravans that make rounds through the wastes, hawking their wares from Paradise Falls to Rivet City. They won't trade with anyone who's hit their friends, but that's about as organized as they get. I had thought about it, but some of these wasteland traders, well, they aren't exactly the organizational type. It'd take a pretty savvy businessman to make it worth their while to work together. Frankly, I'm not sure even I'm up to the task. I agree wholeheartedly, I'd hate to unduly burden a dedicated entrepreneur. I had thought about it, but some of these wasteland traders, well, they aren't exactly the organizational type. It had... You can... Will you... Good luck with those...
Oh man, did you see it? Did you see it? The antagonizer was all like, FEAR ME! The antagonizer, she's this evil supervillain who's trying to wipe out humans with her ants. And the mechanist protects us with his robots. And when they fight in town, it's incredible! And then my uncle says, I need to stay inside. Yeah, I guess. There's no one to play with. Everyone is so serious. It really kind of sucks. But the antagonizer's strong and forceful, and the mechanist, he's smart and good. They make things fun. Well, exciting anyway. I bet it's awesome to be them. Maybe they'll let me be their sidekick. You mean the superheroes? Yeah, I'll try to watch all of their fights. That's easy. The antagonizer's suit makes her super agile. But I guess her ants are pretty weak on their own. Just watch out for her royal guard. The mechanist robots are a lot tougher, and his suit makes him super smart. I don't think he has any weaknesses. Well, maybe one. Since he's a good guy, he's not as ruthless as the antagonizer. Like, he'd never hurt an innocent like me, if he could help it. I don't know much about her, except she really, really doesn't like people. That's kind of cool. I mean, sometimes people are jerks. I think her lair is somewhere in the caves to the north of the city. I've seen her ants down there once in a while. Joe Porter said he found out something about her, but my uncle won't let him tell me. He says don't encourage the poor boy. I knew the mechanist back when he was just a normal hero. He used to be called Scott. Then he fixed up stuff around town. But one day, the antagonizer killed his favorite robot, and I told him he ought to fight back against her like a real superhero. Ever since then, he... No way! Don't stop them, they're awesome! Unless, maybe you're going to be a superhero too. You could be called Awesome Claw and fight them with an army of Death Claws! Well, okay. Uncle Roe and I live in the Old Town Hall, and Mr. Porter runs the diner across the street. It's not really a big place, you know? It's okay, I guess. I heard it's safer than most places, because the raiders don't bother us. But I think... Say hi to the... What's up? You mean apart from having cheesy names? Actually, I think I might... One of the traits... What's up? You mean... What? But they never found any trace of her body. Said her name was... Tanya Kristoff. That might just be our little antagonizer. Take a look. Let me know what you want. Yeah.
So at last, you've penetrated the court of the antagonizer. Queen of all ants! Were you sent by that meddling mechanist? He'll learn that no one can stand before my royal regimen of fighting ants. Explain yourself. Why shouldn't I have my pretties kill you where you stand? Ha-ha! You would walk here and presume to command me? Humanity's time has come to an end. Your kind died because it knew only petty bickering and wars. But not so, the noble ant. It works with its brethren, knowing only loyalty and duty. And this is why they have grown, while humanity crumbled. Once I've finished with that pathetic mechanist, I will be free to spread my colonies across the wastes. Perhaps humanity isn't dead yet, but I'll be sure to help it along. Its writhing corpse shall feed my colony well. Now, my... Bounce! With all of that fighting, I never did get to give you the official welcome to the town, did I? Welcome to Canterbury Commons, home of traders, caravanners, and most of all, of excellent bargains. Here for business or pleasure? Damn near all of them, depending on... Excellent! Without her, the mechanist should be on his way, and Canterbury Commons is safe again! Relatively speaking, of course. Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your fine services rendered. Thank you once again. <laughs> 